Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Kim Rafael and I'm here to teach you about transforming standard form to general form of a problem. So without further ado, let's start. Now, our standard form is quantity x minus h squared is equal to 4p quantity y minus k. And our general form is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And here is our example. Our example here is quantity x minus 1 squared is equal to negative 8 quantity y minus 2. So what is our first step? Our first step will be expanding. So we're going to expand our equation. So our equation will look like this. Our equation will look like this. x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to negative 8y plus 16. So how did I do that? First, we're gonna square the first term, which is our x, so that would be x squared, then multiply x to negative 1, so that would be negative x, multiplied by 2, that would be negative 2x. Then square the last term, which is our negative 1, so that would be positive 1. Then so in this one, we're going to use distributive property. So in this one, we're going to multiply 8 to quantity y minus 2. So that would be negative 8y plus 16. So what is our next step? Our next step will be equating this to 0. So we're going to equate this equation to 0 by transposing negative 8y plus 16. So we're going we're gonna to look like this. So, our equation will look like this. x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 8y minus 16 equals to 0. Since our 8y will be positive 8y and our positive 16 will be negative 16. Since we move this one to the other side. Our next step is arranging and combining like terms. So, we're gonna arrange this. So, we're gonna look like this. Our equation will look like this x squared minus 2x plus 8y plus y minus 16 equals to 0. Since 1 and 16 aren't alike, we're gonna subtract it to get our final equation. So our final equation will look like this. Our final equation is x squared minus 2x plus 8y minus 15 equals to 0. And that's it. I hope I was able to help you in transforming standard form to general form of a parabola. Thank you for watching.